So this is the 3185 fast track with the 3220 cab which was put brand new. As you can see there is also the front video attachment, one hydraulic exit in the front and another double hydraulic exit with the free flow return of for oil, the front lifting system which can also be closed from here to this point, move it upright when it's not uh, in working conditions, the front suspension and front shock absorbers, the front braking discs which you can see because the tractor wasn't used are new, brand new, all of them, the tires are also completely new, they haven't even wear down the edge, these are the 540 R28 full light specs auxiliary lighting system on the corners you can switch between the upper lights or the one in the front if you have something like a plow attachment in the front these are the struts for mounting the front loader factory fitted mounted on the chassis cab is in almost perfect shape with a little, a little small problem on the left side corner this was a quick fix that I made because they uh, messed uh, the cab up on, on transportation it wasn't uh, fixed how it was supposed to but we have also the replacement for that part for the internal corner which was new the guy uh, we bought the cab from was kind enough to send us the, uh, that piece also rear new tires all the tires are the same size brand new you can see that the lifting cylinders weren't even used everything just stood there and it's like brand new all the hydraulic exits from behind coupling for wiring and also air exits for trailers brand new hoses for the hydraulics brand new solenoids for the 4x4 and PTO locks rear PTO system and rear suspension you can also see on this rear discs that they're new and weren't being used. Now if you move to the front, you can see the engine which is in perfect shape. It's the Cummins engine. By the plate on it, you can see it haven't, hasn't been working for, mo for mo uh, much time. On the right side also. On the turbo, the paint is even there. It's not burned. It didn't work up to high revs. Everything in the front is in perfect shape. Also. The engine looks very good. That's only because of the low hours. Now let's move to the cab. Full passenger seat. The same size as the one for the driver. Operator's manual. English version with everything you need to know about this tractor and how it's supposed to be used and what needs to be maintained you can lower the seats, do adjustments and for the front seat you have the air suspension, air ride front, front and back moving system also you have the heat system system and of course the 
air uh, adjustments for the uh, lower and higher back uh, seats. Over here is the control, one of the control panels, the hydraulic exits, the switch lever, dashboard, adjustable steering wheel, blockage. Air vents for the heating system, also on the side, also for the windshield, light connections, light switches, air conditioning system, which works, hatch, roof hatch, or if we ever work it, this is the air conditioning system. Uh, the tractor is also prepared for the auto line with the standard connections. Speakers are mounted in the rear. Very good view behind of it. And shortly after this one, I will show you how it drives. We are now inside the tractor and we'll give it a start. Over here is the dashboard, the PTO RPMs. Let's get started. Let's see. Engine RPM, speedo, air pressure. I don't know if it's tough for you to see because of the sun. But there's no uh, problem with the steering. It steers perfectly. This is the parking brake. First, second. 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th speed and on the dashboard you can see low gear, medium gear, high gear this is achieved by pressing the buttons lower, higher or the auto mode these buttons are also repeated on the right side where you can hold your arm hold your arm at all times, no problem. Let's give it a go. This is the direction inverter. You have the high setting, medium setting or low setting, what I was telling you earlier about. Earlier about. Go on medium, put it to go in front. Now moving. Go in reverse. Now it's in, in the higher gear, medium and lower. This is how it looks from outside. No problem with the, the smooth. And I'll show you also from the outside a small test.
Thank you for watching.